Hi, my name is Becky, short for Rebecca, which in turn I guess is short for captivating or snare, a name that is said to represent beauty in the Bible. Now I don't think there is a God, I'm not blessed enough to have such strong beliefs, at least not where religion is concerned. What I do campaign for, and I use that verb very loosely, is confidence. Confidence is the belief that you are good enough just as you are, the belief that you are capable and beautiful. For many years I laughed at my name, as I picked at my spot-prone skin in a mirror that hated me and focused on making myself look better for the girls that had called me everything but beautiful for the past year, I cursed my parents for even giving me that name. I likened it to calling a naked mole rat a rose or a blobfish a swan. I would blame my plummet into self-hate entirely on those girls, those beautiful girls. But with every ounce of honesty that I possess, I can tell you now that their words were only a single bullet in the gun that declared my mind was going to war with my body. Me versus me. The love that my family showed me versus the hatred that I showed towards myself. Though my family cooed at the way I could fit a three-course meal into a pancake flat stomach, I saw myself as greedy, as disgusting. I stopped eating lunch because the other girls would nibble on their carrot sticks and roll their eyes at my sandwich and full fat yogurt. I, like many girls and boys, was blown to pieces by the toxic thoughts that creep through society, unbiased to gender or age. Today we are bombarded by double standards and large posters and campaigns depicting the idealistic body that, in reality, is extremely difficult to achieve, let alone maintain. These images are the legions of plastic airbrushed troops that lead the attack on our self-esteem. They force us to enlist in a war that we don't want to fight in. They force us to join their side and fire at ourselves as we crawl through the mind-ridden no man's land that is our own mind. I think that if I had been told by the media, which is arguably the most influential thing in a young person's life, that everybody was beautiful, then I wouldn't have tried to change my own. Because that's the truth of it. Every single body in the world is beautiful in its own way. I don't think we hear those three words enough. I still have days when I'm too scared to look in the mirror, but now I have people who look at me in the morning and accept every inch of me. I still don't think I'm worthy enough to represent the Bible's version of beauty, but I now know that I'm worthy enough to join everyone else's in representing the world. If you haven't already done so today, go up to someone and call them what they are, beautiful. I hope that this has maybe helped you win your own battle. And I hope that one day we'll all know that when we look in the mirror, we are captivating. We are worthy. We are beautiful. Thank you.